What's up friends, this is Dan Giffen. Today I'm gonna to show you how I export my individual tracks to send off for mastering. Uh, you might have known in the new update with Ableton Live 10, they included this beautiful new feature which I'm about to show you, which is if you go into export audio video, you can go in under rendering options, it says include return and master effects. Now this is beautiful because before, if you wanted to include all the return effects or return tracks baked into the stems that you were sending to the mastering engineer. If you wanted to do that in Live 9, you had to go through and solo like every single track pretty much. And then that would actually include uh, the sounds that you heard for those tracks that were actually using the scents. Um, and it would actually bake those into the stems. So I ran into this issue recently where I used this feature, but I chose all individual tracks. And even though every single track was bounced and exported, I had a lot of tracks that were grouped together, such as the bass synths that I had right here. And what Ableton did is it actually bounced the bass synth group as a track and all these other tracks in addition to it. So when I send the stems to my mastering engineer, this is gonna all be twice as loud because he's getting the group as its own exported audio file and all these individual tracks in it. The way to get around that is what I would do is I would highlight, say you've got multiple things grouped together, right? And say these are all grouped or whatever. Then what you would just wanna do is you would wanna highlight all of these tracks so hold down shift, highlight all the tracks, make sure your loop bracket's set to where you want to export. And then I would go to file, export audio video. For me exporting, I like to have either a bid depth of 24 or 32 for a WAV file. And then I would make sure the include return and master effects is on. So I get my return tracks into all these stems. And then I would choose selected tracks only. That way it's not going to bounce all the group tracks and the tracks inside of the groups. So this is my process for STEM mastering, how I'd export in Ableton Live. Hope it's really helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, check it out. And if you want to hear the song that I was working on, here it is. The leaves changing. Get down.